we've managed to accomplish a lot in a relatively short amount of time. We've already sent humans to live in space and to the moon. We've developed massive and very sophisticated telescopes and have sent robotics to Mars. Many organisations have decided to take it a step further. The European Space Agency and NASA have been working very hard to find out if we're completely alone. Today we have a big number of projects that are made to scan the stars for signs of intelligent life. Despite our efforts we have yet to make contact. However this is mainly due to the fact that the universe is massive. The number of known star systems and planets keeps on expanding. Scientists have many theories about why we haven't found any intelligent extraterrestrial life, or why they haven't found us. Since we haven't made contact yet, one of the theories suggests there must be something stopping life from communicating with other alien species. The barrier we speak of is also known as the Great Filter. Great Filter is described as an event or a force that stops certain civilizations from getting close to interstellar communication or travel. Recently there's been talk about exoplanet Bernard Star B. This is the closest one to Earth and it's thought it could hold life. Scientists from the University of Pennsylvania said the following. Geothermal heating could support life zones under its surface, akin to subsurface lakes found in Antarctica. We note the surface temperature on Jupiter's icy moon Europa is similar to Bernard Star B, but because of tidal heating Europa probably has liquid oceans under its icy surface. The most significant aspect of the discovery of star B is the two nearest star systems to the Sun are known to host planets. As mentioned Europa is attracting a lot more scientific attention than for good reason. Europa is the smallest out of four Jupiter's large satellites, but it seems it might be the most important one too. Looking at Europa it might be a possible host of new unknown life. As the brightest moon in our solar system Europa is actually entirely covered with ice. The surface of Europa is pretty strange. It looks like broken glass and has no craters at all. According to the researchers, by studying Europa's density it's pretty obvious that it has a lot of ice, which means there's a lot of liquid too. Certain models of Europa show there might be oceans as deep as 50 kilometers under the 5 kilometer crust of ice. As many of you know organic carbon is the key building block of life, along with water, oxygen and nitrogen rich atmosphere. These are key elements that have to be present for life to grow and thrive. Recently scientific studies have shown there could be several spots in our solar system that could hold life, but it's still thought that Europa is the most likely. Researchers and scientists believe Europa's water is in contact with the moon's core. This means that it could be possible for chemical reactions to happen. Some have theorized that if we broke through the ice and into the ocean it could be teeming with life. Europa is a geologically active world, and we know this because NASA's Hubble telescope has taken photographs. It's not a matter of whether life is out there, it's more a question of will we ever make contact. In the Milky Way galaxy alone there's over 100 billion planets. In fact researchers have come forward and said that that number is on the lower end of the spectrum. They believe there could be more than 10 trillion planets in our galaxy. In the observable universe there's estimated to contain 200 billion or 2 trillion galaxies. This gives you an idea to how vast the universe is. It's very likely there's over a septillion planets in the observable universe. So what do you guys think? Bearing in mind how many planets there are out there, do you think it's likely that other forms of life exist? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.